Alright, yo, what's good everyone, Nick Smith is back. We are about to hop into the 2K Hoop Summit, which pretty much, you choose a draft class, right? And then you get to play with these players. Now, this draft class just got released, it's by Embrace the Pace, and he has a phenomenal, it's, it's phenomenal, man. His draft class is accurate, it's the most accurate one out there. Definitely, if you guys want to check out a draft class, Embrace the Pace is the one to go. 2016 draft class, exactly on how the players play. I'll leave a link to his channel, which you guys can subscribe to his channel, or watch his draft class videos and how he makes the plays, and all the stuff is crazy. Let's get into the game. I was going to be the uh, international team, the world team, but I don't know any of their players. And Ben Simmons, he was on the USA team, and he's from Australia, so... I might as well just play with the USA team because they're better. And uh, yeah, as you can see, these are all the uh, the rosters. Jamal Murray, Jalen Brown, Ben Simmons. Uh, they got Malik Newman, Chris Dunn. It's it's a nice team. I mean, the rookies um, coming into next year, they, they could be something. I want to see Ben Simmons. Everyone knows Ben Simmons. If you don't know Ben Simmons, then you will know Ben Simmons by the end of the year. This man out of LSU from Australia. He's not going to be like Dante Exum, man. He's, he's going to be something special. I can't wait to see Ben Simmons play. Even Shaq called it. Shaq said he's going to be something special as well. And uh, I can trust Shaq. Jalen Brown gets this dunk to start out the game for the USA team. We play some good defense, but it's hard. Like, it's really hard to score in this because they all, they're all rookies. They're, nobody is, like, above an 80. So it is hard to play with these guys, but I had a lot of fun. Now, I'm not going to lie. It was really hard, and that's why you're going to see the score was pretty much the world team doing work. But I had fun just getting to know the players and trying out new players that I haven't tried out before. This guy, uh, I don't know how to say his name, but the center on our team is really good. I think it's Labrissia, Labrissia, I'm not sure. Um, I think it's his first name, Scal, I think. Scal Labrissia, or something like that. I, I don't know. I don't really follow college right now. Um, or I just haven't really ever followed college because it's not really on TV in Australia and I'm just not a huge college fan. I normally watch the NCAA tournaments, but yeah, as of now, I don't think it's even on. So yeah, I'm not really watching college right now, but as you can see, I know some of the players. I know Malik Newman, Ben Simmons, Jalen Brown. Um, yeah, I know, I know players. I just don't always know their names. And none of them really come to mind. I know um, Dragon Bender. Chris Dunn. I know, see, I know a couple guys, but uh, the main guy for me is Jalen Brown and Ben Simmons. Definitely want to get Ben Simmons. Look at him. I mean, I, I'm used to playing with Ben Simmons, man. I, I don't know. I've just seen Ben Simmons play. I would like to get Ben Simmons in the NBA draft for next year. That'd be pretty cool. As you can see, Chris Dunn right here loves it up or doesn't love it up, but we got a lab to go right there with Jalen Brown. I, I know who Jalen Brown and Ben Simmons are. They're the main guys and Jamal Murray. See, I, I know some of these guys. I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, I'm not a huge college fan, so I'll get to know them once they make the NBA. Look at Ben Simmons putting on the moves right there. Oh my goodness. Ben Simmons. He's a beast. Now, like I do with these series, I'm going to simulate to the fourth quarter. And uh, you guys can watch the first and the fourth quarter right here. Jamal Murray now sits three right there. It's a two-point lead to the world team. They get a nice layup to go. Oh, they miss. Okay. Ben Simmons playing that defense, though. Gets the rebound, kicks it up Look to Jalen Brown, down to Murray, who ties this game up. 58 to 58, five minutes left. We've got to play some good defense right here. Ben Simmons gets a screen on him, and... He doesn't really play good defense. He should have gone over it. He decides to go under the screen, and his opponent nails that three. It's hard to commentate over this when I don't even know some of these guys. This is a nice shot right there. That step back. Whew. You know the world team is going to take some crazy shots and make them because it's the world. We're not normally athletic. From Australia or from... If you're just not from the US, <laughs> you're, you're normally a good shooter. I mean, it just shows Dirk Nowitzki. Or just... I don't know, man. Everyone knows about that. We get a nice lob right there with Stone. Not even going to lie, don't even know who that guy is, but he gets a nice lob right there. Plays some good defense. It doesn't even matter. The world team gets that lap to go. Down by four points. One minute and 50 seconds left. Ben Simmons dribbling it up. He needs to pick and roll right here. We get a pick and roll to go. I feed it down low, and I get this nice dunk right there with Labissier, or however you say his name. I don't know what his name is. Right? That was a nice dunk by Stone right there. 69 to 73. I need this lab to go, and they play good defense, and I missed that right there. 40 seconds left. 
We just have to play good defense. Unfortunately, though, we don't. And that's pretty much the game, man. 75 to 69. The world team loses this, but Scal played a really good game, dropping 16 points. And Malik Newman in five minutes. I had to look at his stats. Unfortunately, though, you can't see his stats yet. Five minutes scored 13 points. Jalen Brown dropped 12 points. Jamal Murray 10 points and five assists. Ben Simmons, I gotta get used to him. He went four for nine, but he dropped nine points. And uh, yeah, but this guy Scal, 16 points and six or oh, five rebounds. He played well. Don't know who those guys are. I know Zhao Key, and that's about it from the world team. So yeah, that's that. I like Jamal Murray. I like some of the guys from the uh, from the USA team. So. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking to get some of these guys in the upcoming draft. I don't have any picks right now, so I might have to trade for some picks. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys would want to see me go after some of these guys. Would you want to see me trade Oladipo for a, a, a draft pick that could get me Ben Simmons or Jalen Brown or something? Or would you want me to trade Oladipo for something bigger, like a good player? And if so, who? Or would you want me to keep Oladipo? All up to you guys. I'm thinking about going after Jabari Parker. Um, and I, I tell you what I didn't realize. That some players are worth more to some teams. Because when I looked at the trade block earlier today. In a previous MyGM video. I realized that Nicholas Batum is worth more to the Houston Rockets. Than he is to the Philadelphia 76ers. He was like three stars for the Houston Rockets. And two stars for the 76ers. I didn't know it worked that way. We might have to trade away Batum and Deng and some other guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'm out. Peace. Trying to get it like me. Can't get it like me. Trying to get it like, like me.